Welcome to the Dog Nerd Show, where we geek out over our best friends. I'm Megan. And I'm Michael, and this is a show about all things dog. Hey, everybody. So we have a really brief episode for you today, but one that is important. So we sadly saw a friend share on Facebook um, a family who has had a nine-month-old Cavalier King Charles Spaniel that died after ingesting what is called a death cap mushroom. So I think I just want to read to you what happened so you guys are aware. Um, This is something that we did not know about. I did not know about. You know, mushrooms, if we find one in the yard, typically we, you know, get rid of them because, you know, you never know with mushrooms. So um, I went down the rabbit hole a little bit on mushrooms after reading this story. So um, we'd like to first give our condolences to Kristen and Garrett Brun. They are the ones that posted this and shared it on Facebook. And really, just like our chewing gum incident, they wanted other people to know about this, to be aware, to potentially save other lives. Um, The death cat mushroom, everyone should know, it's not just deadly to dogs, it's deadly to humans. So um, it's something that you definitely want to look out for. You don't want your children ingesting this. You don't want your dogs. Um, Apparently, you know, certain animals like squirrels have different metabolism than we do, so they may eat it. Um, It's notable that, uh, let's see, Roman Emperor Claudius in AD 54 and Holy Emperor Charles VI in 1740 both... uh, uh, but they believe died from these mushrooms. So mm. we will. I will read you the story, and then we'll tell you how to identify them. So it says, um, much of you know we don't post a lot of personal highlights on Facebook. This situation needs to be shared. Our goal is not to gain sympathy, but to inform and save as many dogs as we can. On Saturday, September 26th at 4 p.m., we let Obi, our nine-month-old puppy, outside. We noticed right away that he started chewing on something in the ground. We pulled it and noticed it was a mushroom. I looked around the yard and noticed many more different kinds of mushrooms and began to dig them all up and throw them away. Within 15 to 20 minutes, Obi started drooling, which he has never done before. Then he proceeded to throw up and have diarrhea. We called the vet immediately and they informed us to pull food away and only provide water and that in a few hours the symptoms would subside. By 8 p.m., he was done with vomiting and diarrhea and was now a very tired puppy. We stayed up with him until 11 p.m., at which time he went into his crate to lay down and go to sleep. When we woke in the morning at 7.30 a.m., he had passed. Due to the symptoms he had that morning, he had been gone for some time. So within 10 hours, that mushroom had killed our beloved Obi. This mushroom is called a death cap mushroom. We were unaware of the danger it possessed, as well as many others who have never heard of it before. This mushroom can show show signs of toxicity within 20 minutes of consumption and will shut the liver down within 6 to 12 hours. With all the rain we have been getting, I'm sure you've noticed the abundance of mushrooms that have been growing. Please, if you or someone you know have an outside animal or small children, scan your yard and remove all mushrooms because you just never know. If you could also do us a favor and let Obi's death not be in vain and share this post, we would be truly grateful. Please help us let Obi's unfortunate death save many dogs. Thank you for taking the time to read this. Sincerely, the Brune family. So that that post had me in tears. I mean, I can't even imagine what this family went through. (laughs) Their nine-month-old puppy, and they didn't know because you know what? Like, how do you how do you know? about this mushroom, you know, unless you're kind of in the foraging world and and things like that. So apparently this mushroom is not native to North America, but was intentionally, unintentionally brought over here when certain specimens of trees were brought over here because this mushroom lives like in a symbiotic nature with certain trees. So, um, We'll go into that. So basically, we'll we'll get some pictures, but it's a a white mushroom that as it gets as it grows, it gets a greenish tint to the top of it. But don't let that don't don't think it has to be green because in this post from Obi's family, 
I mean, you can see that there is a, a tint on, on the larger mushrooms, but some of them, when they're smaller, they just look like a white dome. So, um, you know, yeah. definitely, if, you know, if there's a mushroom in your yard, get rid of it um, for the sake of you and your, your kids um, and your pets. So it is uh, one of the most poisonous mushrooms, and it poisons more people than all other mushrooms combined. Mm. So um, how to recognize it? It is uh, A death cap is two to five inches wide and four to six inches tall. It has an olive green cap with a smooth rim. Dense white gills, so gills underneath the cap, Right. Free of the stalk, sometimes with remains of a, of a veil, and a stalk with a striated ring and a bulbous beige with a prominent vulva. The smell is sweet with a hint of raw potatoes. So I'm sure you guys know, like on the mushrooms that we eat, you know, like whatever variety there, the white button mushrooms are called, and right. then the portobellas, they have like those dark gills, you know, the... Mm-hmm the gills underneath. These have all white gills and they they definitely have like a olive yellowish tinge to the the cap. Um, a young death cap is round and covered with a white veil. In this stage it literally looks like an egg. The remnants of the veil at the base of the mushroom become the vulva. Sometimes a piece of this veil can remain on the cap and become a wart. The cap is hemispherical at first and opens with age to become almost flat. The spore print is white. The spores are elliptic and short. Um, Okay, so typically they are found um, during summer and autumn in the deciduous forests of warm parts of Europe, Asia, and North Africa. Humanity accidentally introduced them to North America and Australia where they are spreading fast. And I will say, I'll share the links to this. This is, um, this, these facts are courtesy of mushroomgrove.com. Um, they have all kinds of information. And um, it says the fact that they are so widespread means that everyone in the world should learn about them, not just foragers. To know that a mushroom is deadly will allow you to act if your kid or dog accidentally eats one and know how to perform first aid, which basically means calling an ambulance. So... In this family situation, unfortunately, the vet did not realize yeah. what the dog had eaten because the best course of action would have clearly been to get the dog to the vet and start the, you know, the process of um, flushing the system. And I don't even know how that, I don't, you know, we know that what was done with xylitol with Finley I don't, I'm imagining it's a similar procedure, but with this mushroom being so deadly, I'm not sure how they actually treat dogs um, that get this. Does it say how the uh, poison metastasizes? Does it, how does it? So, yeah, I'll get to that. Um, Let's see. They grow, uh, mostly grows in symbiosis with deciduous trees like oak, beech, and hornbeam, but you can also find them under pine and spruce. So it needs to form a relationship with the tree and can't grow alone. They use each other's nutrients and so on. Um, Let's see. They are responsible for 90% of mushroom-related deaths worldwide because they are mismatched for popular edible mushroom species. Mm. They contain deadly toxins with delayed effects, which complicates first aid. A single mushroom can kill a human. Now, in a video we watched, the woman was touching the the mushroom to show all the parts and pieces of it. You cannot get the toxins through touching it, but by eating it and ingesting it, you can. Now, one of these articles I saw said, it's a really good idea to teach your kids and your dogs to stay away from mushrooms. So yeah. dogs are harder, but for kids, like just don't let them touch any mushrooms. Cause you know, I mean, this mushroom wouldn't, kill your child if they touched it nor even if they lick their fingers after touching it but it's ingesting it that they and you just don't you know just be safe better, <laughs> teach your kids better to, safe than sorry yeah 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 so um you can survive it um if if a human eats it the survival of uh the poisoning is 50 percent if untreated and about 13 percent if treated so you have a good chance of 
um, surviving it if you actually, as a human, ingest it. This article does not specify what the death rate is for animals. Um, let's see. Let me let me find you. The you know mush mushrooms. There's a lot of people that go out and they they mushroom hunt. Mm-hmm. Please make sure you know what you're doing when you do that. Um, okay, pre-symptomatic. After eating the death cap, the first stage of poisoning starts almost immediately. The toxins are absorbed from the digestive system into the blood flow and begin attacking the heptocytes, the liver cells. The symptoms of the poisoning appear only when a lot of these hepatocytes are destroyed. Um, in the first stage, some functions of the digestive system are disrupted. The victim becomes languid, dizzy, and chilly. Then they feel nausea and stomach ache, followed by heavy vomiting and diarrhea. Those lead to dehydration and demineralization. If the victim survives, the vomiting and diarrhea disappear entirely, which may calm the victim falsely. Oh. Because then it says in the second stage, in the following days, the liver and kidneys will start malfunctioning. The liver enlarges. The victim increasingly urinates, and after about four to five days from poisoning, they feel better. If they are lucky, they recover. But in most cases, acute failure of the liver or kidneys follows. In case of a slow progression, the victim dies eight to 12 days after the poisoning. In the case of a fast progression, liver coma develops quickly, resulting in apathy, loss of consciousness, shaking, spasms, decreased blood pressure, mydriasis, and death four to seven days after the poisoning. Um, So all of that to say that this toxin is going to affect the liver and the kidneys. Um, It's super dangerous obviously for your dogs and your kids yeah um i didn't see anything in my research about cats but i would just assume just uh, uh, yeah because cats are so sensitive to things anyway so you know we really wanted to share this story because you know this family made this public for this purpose and if one person watching this episode or listening to this episode can um, save their animal, then it's worth it. Yeah. Um, if your dogs or cats or children, God forbid, are showing symptoms, if they've been out in the yard and, and, and they're showing symptoms like this, like the drooling and the look better safe than sorry, get them to a vet immediately. Yeah. Yeah. You can always pull out your credit card and slap that, um, onto the credit card and I know these people probably are just heart sick over the I mean they did the right thing they called the vet the vet said oh you know symptoms should subside and they've I mean look at all these I can't even yeah it was a lot like nine or ten mushrooms that they pulled from the yard all stages too some like really small ones they kind of look like a bullet when they're small and then all the way up to like a regular more kind of flatter topped um, mushroom. So yeah, yeah. Just err on the side of caution. If anyone has had experience with this, let us know. Um, hopefully it's something that your, your, if your animal has had that, that they've recovered, um, a hundred percent. So yeah. Anything else from you, Mike? No, I mean, you know, it's, it's a sad story, but hopefully a story that will save other lives. Yeah. 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 We, we want, you know, we don't, we don't want Obi's life to be in vain either. So rest in peace, sweet Obi. Um, we know your family misses you dearly and thank you, um, to the Bruin family for sharing this so that we could share it with everyone else. Absolutely. Well, tell folks where they can find us. Yeah. Everywhere online at dog nerd shows, drop us a line, dog nerd show at gmail.com. Hey, especially if you want to talk about your dog breed, we are always looking to talk to folks about their breed. And, um, what else? Well, subscribe. Yeah, that would be, you know, that's fair and, and easy and, and fun to do. Just hit the little button. It's great. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get that number up. We are. So uh, just yeah. hit that subscribe button and then get a notification too. Yeah, and if you like our content, give us a thumbs up. We That really helps us and we appreciate it. And then leave a comment down below. We answer those comments and uh, we look forward to conversing with you. Yeah, and hey, share this video with other families, whether yeah. they have kids or dogs or both. Get, help us spread the word. Absolutely. Well, until next time, folks, thank you. Bye. Bye.